Hello everyone, I'm Katherine Nasina Saplin and today I'm starting a new series called How to Write Better. On today's topic of discussion is Learn English. Info dump for you guys, English is a language and language consists of two things, understanding and communication. We communicate with people by writing and speaking with them and we can understand others by listening and reading. But speaking, listening, reading, and writing are four different skill sets. Advice to writers that if you want to write better, you need to read more. And if you want to improve your speaking skills and you need to put yourself out there where you're speaking with people, if you want to improve your listening skills, then you need to watch movies or listen to music. If you want to improve your reading, then you read more. And if you want to improve your writing, then you need to challenge yourself and write. And unfortunately, there are many people who think, oh, I'm a native English speaker. I got this down. Um, it's like, no, no, you don't. You really, really, really don't. People love to argue about grammar, but nobody has ever made the distinction of the way we speak versus the way we write. And the two are not the same. When we speak in English, there is an importance placed on the time of an event happening, which doesn't translate to when we write because the order of events in your story are happening in the order that you write them in. And so you don't need to use these compound complex tenses to say when the idea happens because it's implied. And so when you have books that are written in a compound tense, it's normally used as a literary device to add a certain tone or voice to the story. A good example of this is the past perfect and you'll see this used in books where the setting is historical or if it's a fantasy novel that wants to give a feel of it happening a long time ago. And objectively, it does add that tone of having an old timey feel because if you look through literature, most books that are written in the 1800s were written in past perfect because that was the style of the time. My advice to writers would be that if you're going to break the rules, you need to know what they are first. And if you do break them, it needs to be for purpose. If you're writing some sci-fi novel and you have it in the past perfect, that's probably not going to connect as well. That's what I have for you guys this week. I'd love to know what other writers think about this because hey, we all love to have lively discussions about writing and literature because we're procrastinating because we don't want to go write. Bad writers, bad, bad writers. Or if you want to do something constructive and actually work on your writing, check out my blog because I have some little prompts and challenges to help improve your writing. Give this video a like and share it with your friends, families, and strangers on the internet because hey, it helps me. I want subscribers. Validate me. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Tote scenes, may apple zines. If you missed last Thursday's video, why aren't you watching my videos? I reviewed Little Birds by Hannah Lee Kidder and you guys should check it out. Spoiler, it is an awesome book. Go buy it. I'll leave that in the description below for you guys because honestly, it's a good book. Click the link, go buy it because it, it's, an, it's an awesome book. Like.